So what is the advantage of nuclear energy? Nuclear energy is very, very important. As I said, 30 percent, about one third of the energy requirement in, for, in developed countries is from nuclear energy. So it has to have a large advantage because the energy produced, energy produced is plenty, is large. Okay, so this is very large in fact. So this is a very, very great advantage, but disadvantages are no less. First thing is the environment, environment pollution in the environment pollution and I am not talking about carbon dioxide or uh, carbon monoxide and uh, nitrogen oxide etc etc. I am talking about radioactivity. The substances which are emitted in that with the energy, the kinetic energy of some radioactive materials, the particles also plays a role in the emission of energy. So, energy is also in the form of this kinetic energy. So, you have these radioactive particles coming out of the plant. Even though the plant is covered with lead and a lot of care is taken, some is does leak out into the atmosphere and it has been found that the places near these nuclear reactors are polluted by radioactivity to some extent. People are in fact transferred from one department to another so that they are not exposed to harmful radioactivity in one year. So radioactivity, the, the pollution of this kind is, is really very, very dangerous and sometimes of course, what, uh, accidents take place, accidents do take place and if you, I do not know whether you know it, Chernobyl in Russia had a, a large leakage of, leakage of these polluting materials and uh, for ages, for years to come, the generations who are affected by radioactivity are still being affected by radioactivity causing very, very harmful uh, effects on the body of the, the of the people and the animals and the plants. So, pollution is a very, very strong issue. Another thing is that the raw material is not easily available. Raw material, raw material is not easily, not plenty, right, uranium. So, those countries which produce this would have uh, an upper hand and not all countries develop this kind of, they have this kind of raw material availability. One more thing is that the, the nuclear waste, whatever comes out after the, the nuclear fuel has been used, the waste is also radioactive, is also radioactive. And to dispose is it is a very big problem, big problem. What do you do with it? You put it in the sea, the aquatic life is ruined. Put it underground, it uh, comes in contact with water. The water is something that uh, we utilize and therefore it will come to humans. You throw it up in the air, it will mix with the air that we breathe. So, the disposal of the waste is a very, very big issue and that is a very big problem. So, these are the major issues, major hazards of this storage, waste and storage. Storage of the fuel also is a problem, right, because it is radioactive, one requires a huge amount of lead, right, huge, huge amount of place because it has to be uh, protected in layers. Right? So, we have to even though it is not a large amount, the storage is uh, tricky, it is not large, it is tricky. So, that is why uh, it is a very big issue. All this while we talked about nuclear fission. It is interesting to know that there is another kind of nuclear phenomenon which produce a large amount of very, very large, larger than fission energy. It is called nuclear fusion. We have not yet succeeded in getting energy from the fusion, but the nature has succeeded. One very important example is the sun. We keep saying that solar energy plays a very important role, etc., etc. For 5 billion years, uh, sun has been giving us energy and it is estimated that for further 5 billion years, the sun will give us energy. But where does the sun get its energy from? 
it gets it from a nuclear phenomenon called fusion. So, what is fusion? Let us figure this out. If you have two positive nuclei, say deuterium, deuterium is a hydrogen isotope. What is hydrogen? Hydrogen, hydrogen, hydrogen. Hydrogen has one proton in the nucleus and one electron in the outer orbit. Now, if with one proton, we also have one neutron. You cannot have two protons when, because then in the, uh, the uh, periodic table, you are going to the next element. Okay, so, you, we are talking about the, the very first element hydrogen. So, it will have one proton and one electron, but if you have an isotope, which is called deuterium, then it will have hydro, this was H. And if the deuterium has neutron also, its atomic mass is 1 H 2. Okay? Atomic mass is double that of hydrogen. Atomic number remains the same. So, this is deuterium. And we are talking about the nucleus of the deuterium, which is called, so this is, the whole piece is called deuterium. But the nucleus is called deuteron. neutron. Now, this nucleus has one proton and one uh, neutron. It is positive in charge. So, if you have, you write it like this, 2 H, you can put this superscript either on the left or right. So, this is how we show the nucleus of deuterium or we show deuteron. So, here we have, this is the deutrons, two deutrons. If the, you could bring them together, think of the problem. How can you bring them together? They are positive. Positive charges repel each other. And closer you bring them, bigger is the amount of uh, repulsion. So, to, to make them come in contact with each other, come very, very close to each other is almost impossible. It requires very, very, very high heat and pressure. So, if you have this supply from somewhere, then you can bring the two positive nuclei together and then they would convert into helium, an isotope of helium and with some neutrons and a large amount of energy. This energy liberated is much larger than the energy liberated in fission. The question is this. That is why we have not been able to obtain, use this commercially. How do we supply a large amount of heat and pressure? That itself will require a huge amount of energy. And how do you store such a heated product? Where do you store it? So, these are practical difficulties and therefore, fusion reactors have not been possible. But we have, as I said, nature has taken care of it. And the sun, the sun had, has, sun has, such a thing happening all the time. Once upon a time, long time back, the very, very, very long time back, fission must have happened in the sun. So, fission was the first thing to happen that led to very high energies and therefore very high temperatures and that further led to fusion. Now, such a thing is of to, uh, not a possible in controlled manner in a reactor, right? But uncontrolled fusion we are good at. Uncontrolled fusion is obtained in something called hydrogen bomb. So, what happens in a bomb? In a fusion bomb, which we call as a hydrogen bomb, hydrogen bomb. There is a core and the core is made up of a fissionable material. So, which is not difficult to produce fission into. So, you have would have fission it can be produced when you have critical mass, you have enough mass of the original fuel and you hit it with the slow neutrons. So, fission is not difficult to obtain. Of course, to control it is important, which also can be done. We have achieved that control by limiting the speed, the, the amount of neutrons which would go further for chain reaction. So, we, we absorb them and there how the, that is how the, uh, the reactor reaction, is, chain reaction is controlled. 
So fission is is reasonably easy to handle. It is surrounded by by the material which is the fusion fuel. Right? So you you have a fission fuel in the core and surrounded by it you have fusion so the uh, fuel and therefore the energy liberated by this by fission can produce then fission fusion if it is not the heat that energy is basically in the form of heat right and that heat can produce fusion and therefore we call this as a thermonuclear thermo again heat thermonuclear fusion so this is thermonuclear fusion reaction which causes fusion which is fusion of course and causes a large amount of energy liberated uncontrolled in the sun it is uncontrolled in the hydrogen bomb it is uncontrolled right and that is when this since it all happens in very very small amount of time 